Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the M block to use a um, the MegaPy to um, as as like an Arduino. Okay, so to use like the analog pins. So under extensions, I need to make sure I've checked Arduino so I can use those Arduino parts. And then under robots or robots, sorry, we're going to let's just say MegaPy program. And we'll set some variables. We'll make a variable that says force, because I have a force sensor on here. Okay. And so what we'll do is we're going to say read analog pin. So I have a force sensor connected to pin um, A1. And let me show you, go ahead and show you how to connect it up to A1 right now. Okay. So when you wire an analog sensor, one end is going to connect to the, the high voltage, okay, the other end is going to connect to the analog input and then to the ground pin using a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So here I've got a um, force sensitive resistor hooked up like this, okay, so we have one leg connected with the resistor to the ground, the other leg connected to the high voltage and then the leg that's also connected to ground has this pin that will go to the sensor. <clears throat> and now here we have the um, MegaPi, so I'll show you how to hook it up here. So uh, we'll use these rows here. So we have a 5 volt pin right here. I'm going to put it in. Okay. And then we'll put the ground pin right next to it. Okay, like that. And then we'll put this into any of these pins here. And you can see that these pins are sticking out. So I need something else that I could use. So I'll use one of these kind of wires that have a different hookup. So I'll put it into, I have some analog pins here, a 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and then some digital pins. I'll use analog pin because it's an analog sensor. So it's connected right there. And then I'll just replace the connection here on the breadboard. Okay, and so now it's all wired up, and any kind of analog sensor I can use like this, I'll, I can swap it out with this right here, the flex sensor, if you wanted to connect to it like a, a potentiometer you could, or a photoresistor, anything like that, and then it should be good to go for Arduino purposes. Okay, so now we have it connected to A1. We'll go to, we'll set force to the reading on A1, and then we'll set like a, a loop here. So under control, we'll repeat this forever, and maybe we'll set like a delay of 0.1 seconds in the readings. Okay. And now we run it. Oops. Wrong thing. Let's click back. I got to double click it to run it. Okay, now it should be reading. Yep, that sensor. So you see, I press on that force sensor, and it's getting that reading. Sensing how hard I'm pushing on it. And let's say well, I want to read a couple sensors. So now, in addition to using that, I want to use one of the M block sensor or one of the make block sensors. So maybe we'll use. I have the um, the uh, ultrasonic sensor in there so I'll use that too and maybe we'll make another variable called distance okay and we'll say set distance to the reading and that's connected to it looks like port 6 right now okay now I'm going to run this program and so now we have readings for distance that are changing and the force that's changing okay and so you can see we have a couple things going at once here okay and so this is can be a pretty powerful tool if you have a bunch of sensors going that you can uh, be taking readings on and using to give you information about a scenario